my channel. So in today's video, I'm finally done with this sketchbook. Yeah, that is what we're gonna be looking through today. <laughs> Let's see what I've done. I'm not that happy with this sketchbook. I wish I would have done more with it, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I did in this one. That's just the introduction. So this it's just this random page here. I actually just recently drew something on here. There was that I didn't really like. Here is that first page. So I started this sketchbook in March and yeah, I kind of started off the sketchbook really badly. I didn't really like the face. I kind of messed up. Uh, it just wasn't looking okay. And I was like really sad about it. Yep. A lot of people still like it, but I just, I don't really like it that much. And then after that, I saw a photo on Pinterest and I decided to draw it. I tried to draw it. I try not to stylize this photo, but I still ended up looking a little bit stylized. Hence the nose. I was like so bad at drawing realistic nose, but over the throughout this whole video, you'll see I get better at drawing noses. So that's good. I really like the hair on this. Out of everything on this piece, I really, really like the hair. And this one here is a... I saw somebody drawing on Pinterest and it was so pretty. Oh my god, her art was so pretty and I just decided to just draw it in my style. Here is a quick little portrait drawing I did. I actually did that pretty quickly. I'm still so bad at drawing the noses, but you see I'm actually getting better, I guess. The eyes, they still don't look realistic. I was, like, when I was doing this whole piece, I was trying to make it look realistic and not, like, stylized. But you can still see. I love the lips. The hair's a little messy up there, but... We'll live with it. Here is a photo I tried to stylize. So yeah, her eyes were like so pretty. They were like kind of, they had like a really, really nice shape to them. So that's what I was trying to convey in this style of mine. So I think I did pretty good at it. I like it. I like how it looks. I have a speed paint of this. So if you guys want to see it, we talk about whether or not you can steal an artist's style. So if you want to know what I think about that, you can look that up. I have it somewhere in the description to where you can check it out. Okay, so this one is the Sharpie. Draw this in your style. So if you guys want to see that video. So when I have something in the back that I can't really draw on. Because, you know, these are markers and they bleed through. So like that. There's just so much here. I just cover it up with a drawing. Just to fill up some space. And then I try to redraw the front page. Um, I try to redraw this over here but wasn't liking it at least I like the nose here a bit more but yeah her mouth is just oh I didn't like it so this was March April you can kind of see a big difference kind of like the face shape is a lot different I like the eyes more here the body stayed the same <laughs> and then here's the big marker one of these here so yeah if you want to see that process in the description and this was just so messy. I just, I'm not a big fan of this, but eh. with the art supplies I had, it was all I could do. And this is when I got that, the Arteza color pencils. Oh my God, they're so good. The Arteza color pencils are so good and I would have never gotten them if they didn't send that to me. So I'm really, really glad about that. So I would definitely recommend these. I got so obsessed with them. I kind of forgot about them now, but yeah, I'm definitely going to pick them up very soon. But you can see just how smooth that is. You can get a lot of detail with it. And that was just like a quick photo study. I do a lot of photo studies. I'm really, really liking it. It's helping me draw faces a lot better. So yeah. Here's just a little eh, page. I actually really like the face here. Super cute. I'm not a big fan of that face. It just looks so creepy. The nose doesn't look that bad, but the eyes are just the position of everything. Not very good. So this is something I did. This was me drawing my Instagram followers art in my style. And then I, I came back and I did a photo study where I tried to draw it in my artistic style. And I really, really like this style a lot. So. I'm like super happy with how this face turned out. You can totally see the difference like between this this cartoony style and this. And I'm really leaning towards here. 
Here's another ugly page that I don't like. <laughs> that never happened. These are just, these are actually, I just added these in recently because I was kind of like flipping through my pages and I noticed I just left a whole bunch of white spaces and I was trying to like add a lot of stuff into the sketchbook. So yeah, this is just a girl in the clouds crying so her tears are like raindrops. I really, really like this cute little style though. I was trying to do like a Western style and this is what I came up with. It's pretty simple. I'm really bad at trying clouds for some reason and the way I kind of figured it out is by drawing like a whole bunch of circles and like different shapes and it kind of works. I like it. And I was trying to make a face look like it's crying. This is me drawing my followers art in my style. I do post a lot of my digital art on Instagram. I feel like my YouTube is for like traditional art and then my Instagram is like mostly digital art. So if you guys want to see my digital art you can look at my Instagram page. Shameless plug. Here's another one of me drawing my followers art. I really really like this character's face and the way she drew the eyes it was like super cute so I wanted to like convey that in my style. I really just like these really really pretty droopy eyes and I love her ears. Such a cute character design. I love it. And then this is me using the dollar store art supplies. It came out pretty well. I like the black background on this. I think it came out pretty nicely. And then here's another one of those, um... This is me using the Arteza color pencils. Damn! This is me using the Arteza color pencils. And you can kind of see... I'm sorry if my lighting is weird. You can get so detailed and so smooth. Like the only thing I don't like about color pencils is that my hands hurt so bad. But if I if it didn't hurt that much, like this came out really really good. I like it. But ah, color pencils just hurt my hands. I like using them for like little details, but I can't color a whole piece without my hands hurting. Here's another page that I'm not that happy with. It's just just boring. Another page, not that happy with as well. Me trying to stylize another photo using the brush pens and some markers. Here are just like random draw this in your styles on Instagram. So I just found random posts and I drew them. And I was trying to draw a little French bulldog, but oh my god, that face. And then here, I was just doing a really, I was trying to put some kind of emotion into this drawing, like calm. bad at drawing guys but he actually kind of looks like a guy I guess you can see I don't know 
in my next sketchbook I'm going to try and draw some guys you guys I promise you guys gotta hold me to it if you don't see a lot of guys in my next sketchbook like cuss me out just kidding do it nicely just be like draw some guys draw some guys here's some Instagram models I'm not sure I think this was yeah I think yeah this is my flipping markers I was wondering if I was trying a different marker but now I was just having fun here's that hair tutorial I kind of just stuck this in here because this page is kind of like bleeding through. Her hair kind of looks like poo. <laughs> ah, it's, it's like the shape of how you make poo. Or like dessert actually. We'll do dessert. Let's do dessert. Pinterest, Pinterest models now. <clears throat> that's, yeah, that's something. Okay, here I am trying to draw a giraffe and Animals are not my strongest um, things. I actually really like this one though. I like the little pose they did there. I'm happy about that. Here's another picture of trying to stylize. Even over here. I kind of messed up on here. <laughs> but this one is kind of cute. It looks like a nose. Not very happy with this page. I do like the pose on this though. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of drawing at an angle when I was drawing this. I was like kind of sitting back like this and I was just, in, I was on my bed. It kind of looks okay when I'm sitting at the angle I was drawing, but like once you're looking at it like that, you start to notice it's leaning a little bit. I drew her nose so small. I really like the dress though. Super cute. The colors. Real nice. Here's just a random character. I like this. I don't know why, but I like it. More characters. I really like how this page just turned out. This whole thing, I actually really like this page. It's not finished, but I still like it. There's that, and I'm showing more faces. <laughs> I really like her face. Her nose. Still struggling with that. Decided to do some fruit studies. <laughs> Apple, lemon, cherry. I could have drawn more up here though, but it's okay. We don't talk about this page. And then I decided to just take that drawing I did here. If you guys want to see it, I really like it. I remember what I was doing when I did that. Kind of just like flashed in my head. I was watching Black Mirror. And it was the episode with Miley Cyrus. I like this. I think it's a photo study as well. And then we have my big marker art. Yeah. And then I just stuck a whole bunch of paper in here that I didn't want to lose. I really like her face. And then her hair. Oh my god, that's super cute. Oh yeah, these were done using the Ohu markers. This was when I first got them and I was just like looking, trying to study them, I guess. One came out so cute. Another page that I'm not that happy with, but this one here, my character Mira. This was done using the Ahuhu brush markers. Another boring page. Another page I'm not that happy with, but I'm glad I colored this whole thing. Her face just looks a little weird. Just a page of bleed through. I'm gonna cover her booty since I don't want to get demonetized. Still gotta make that bread, you know? <laughs> But we have this drawing here. I didn't really like it. My face just looks weird. Another page that I'm not happy with. Probably stick something in here. Just gotta find it. Here are the three market challenges I did. Tinkerbell, which is something I wanted to do. And I didn't want to draw her hands. Cause hands are hard. Hands are hard. Here's that three marker challenge one as well. The signal ball pen, when it dries, it kind of dries into a lighter color of this. So right now it's like a light green color. Here's like a light pink color. Like you can feel the texture on there. I like it though. Here's a pinup looking girl I did. I really like her hair. I really like the anatomy of this actually. It came out pretty good. Not 
bad the hands kind of look weird but besides that yeah um this is something i recently did i just i was just flipping through these pages and found some blank pages and i drew something here and i was trying to do like some kind of shadow thing on here but it just doesn't look right it don't look right still cute though she's still cute this is me drawing my followers art if you guys want to see these videos I will have it. I also have a video of this one here. Here's a little screw up one. I just didn't like how it was coming out, so I redid it. And I drew Tinkerbell on the back of this pretty recently. Alright, so this is my attempt at drawing realism. I wasn't trying to stylize it at all, but you can definitely see, except this, this whole stylizing. But the nose is much better. I'm kind of. <laughs> Like, look at that, that came out pretty cute. See, I learned something. I think I did pretty okay with this one, actually. Like, it doesn't look that stylized. Here's another one. This one just looks a little weird, but it's also me trying to draw a portrait without stylizing it. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about it. I don't really like it that much. That's another drawing my followers art in my style and this one here I like the nose kind of like the eyes as well and then here is me drawing one of my followers art in my style another really ugly page like just bleed throughs there's that more bleed through I'll probably stick something on here again this is Cora's first design. This is what we started with. Design what we wanted. Came to that. Drew that. And now she looks completely different. <laughs> I kept some stuff on her, but she looks quite different from this. And I really, really like those stories you guys are like telling me, and I just don't know which one to pick now. Like, mmm. I'm kind of leaning towards making her either like an alien. A healer, carefree, likes nature, something like that. Here's something I just drew recently as well. The hands are a little too small. This was me trying to teach you guys how to draw hair. But yeah, I've been really liking you guys sending me. Like if you guys do something like this, follow my videos, like send them to me. I want to see what you guys do. And that one here. And same piece. This color pencil is supposed to be smudge proof, but I'm like seeing it here. I'm just like, you lied to me. It's supposed to be smudge proof, but it's smudging on here. So I don't know what's going on. Here's the last page. We are done with the sketchbook. I just have that, but eh. maybe I'll draw something on the back of here. But besides that, this is the last page. I, mean, I know it's something just not that cute to end the sketchbook with, but well. I could still draw something cute on here, even though she's like stuck on here. Okay, yeah, I could still draw something on here. There's that sketchbook. And then here is the new sketchbook. So I did ask you guys what sketchbook was good for markers, watercolors, and like other mediums. And I got a lot of people mentioning the ELO sketchbook and Kenton Makes Media sketchbook. And I got a whole bunch of requests on this and everybody and their grandmother on YouTube is using this sketchbook so I'm like I'm gonna give this a try and I got the 8x8 I have not drawn anything on here so I'm like really scared to use a sketchbook and it's just like oh I don't know the pages are oh really thick I thought this was like two pages in here so this is going to be really fun the shape of it too like that's why I went with this one aesthetically pleasing so I'm looking forward to this sketchbook it's pretty small actually it's 8 by 8 but we'll see maybe I'll fill this up a lot quicker I also want to do a whole bunch of anatomy practices but I'm not gonna be doing a lot of anatomy practices in this sketchbook I have another sketchbook where I draw a whole bunch of like random body parts I could show that sketchbook actually. We're not gonna look through this a whole bunch. This is just something I told myself. I can draw whatever I want in here and nobody, like nobody has to see it. And it just helps me, and it helps me like, this. these are like copy. And it helps me just relax in this sketchbook. 
drawing random things. Probably gonna be demonetized if I show a whole bunch of these pages because they're like me doing anatomy practices, stuff like that, trying to get better. These are just things I guess I don't really show, but I am practicing my anatomy, you guys. Just, just. See, doing some face studies on here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to blur this part out. But yeah, that's me trying to figure out how to draw the legs, the face. So I'm studying, okay? I just don't have it in those sketchbooks, but <laughs> the legs. But yeah, I've had this sketchbook for a while. But yeah. I really want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys will like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you all in the next one. So bye guys. Thanks for watching.